This is Balcon Monomer's Trek Speed Concept time trial bike, which is a little bit different to all of the other Trek Speed Concepts that we have seen so far. As you can see, it is completely raw. So, I was just talking to Trek's Matt Shriver, and he says that white paint is particularly heavy. And I didn't realize quite how much paint weighed. Apparently, it can be as much as 300 grams on a time trial bike like this. So instead of the paint, they have what's called a vapor coat, which is very minimal. And as you can see, it's not even used over the whole frame. Certain parts of it look extremely raw. And it's presented quite a significant weight advantage for them. And they're continuing to try and shave grams from various parts of the frame as well. Now that weight saving doesn't just stop there. They've also got the brand new Bontrager Aeolus 6 front wheel. Now apparently that's just as light as the 5 and just as aero as the 7. So that is what he'll be using at the front there. And here at the back, as is quite obvious, we have a lightweight disc wheel. They don't use them all of the time due to durability issues, not necessarily whilst they're riding them, the heavier riders, they do have problems sometimes, but just as much when they're transporting them around. They are, I wouldn't say flimsy, but certainly open to damage if they hit anything at all. Now on the bike, he's got a full Dura-Ace Di2 group set. You can see the shifters there at the end of the bars at the front. Now the weight saving continues up there at the bars, which are standard in most respects, except for this custom spacer here. Now of course, Balka has found the ideal position for him on this Speed Concept bike. And so instead of having multiple spacers to get to the right height, they've made a single one, which has shaved a further few grams off. If you look down here, he's currently got his Shimano SRM on there. Uh, he's been training regularly on this bike and using the data, etc. But we understand that he's considering even taking this off for the day of the time trial or the days of the time trials because you can shave a further 125 grams by having a standard Dura Ace chain set there. Now the tyres are both supplied by Veloflex and I can't see markings on them but I think the front one is 23, looks quite narrow and the back one is probably a 25. Well I rather like the raw look I have to say. Now if you want to see our entire pro bike playlist, you can find that just in the top corner up there. Uh, on the other hand, if you want to see the entire Tour de France playlist, that's also in ha one handy place, which is down in the bottom corner there. And if you would like to subscribe to the channel, if you haven't done so already, most of you probably have. But if you're new, all you've got to do is click on the glow, and it doesn't cost you anything.